Hey guys, it's your boy Repairs, and welcome to another double episode review for season seven of My Little Pony Friendship and Magic. This time it's episode twelve and thirteen. And wow, these episodes were good. These episodes were good. Uh, I'm probably gonna like. I have to go in depth on both, but 13, man. Oh, I'm gonna get to 13. Let's start with 12 with Discorded Harmony. Or whatever. Like Something like that. It was a it was a Discord flourish I episode. Um I've said in the past, I don't know. The, the biggest problem I have with the Fluttershy Discord relationship, I, I don't know if what kind of relationship they would be able to have. I don't know. If, like, obviously, it's probably never going to get to the point where the showrunners will make them an actual couple. Sorry to break any, uh, Flutter Cord Chipper or Hearts, but, uh, if the. Considering the fa. And. If the. It, we're in season 7, they haven't. It's like the only. We've only seen two weddings. One was uh, Shining Armor's wedding and was only a ploy to introduce him and Kane's. And the other was Cranky Matilda's wedding, who, since then, unless they've appeared in the background and I didn't notice them, but I don't think they've appeared. I mean, I, I'm not sure. Did they appear in like the big, when it zoomed out and showed everyone? I don't remember. But I, I can't remember seeing them since then, so... I, I, I don't know if they'll ever actually... Say... You know what, let's put Discord in a relationship with Fluttershy. And... These tanks and stuff must have cost a fortune. So, uh, sorry if that breaks your, your heart. You can still make all the fan fictions you want. If anything, this episode gives you more to work on. Now we know if there's no chaos, Discord will just vanish. He'll cease to exist. He needs chaos to exist. Which, in a way, makes, that makes perfect sense. That makes logical sense. You're like, okay, yeah, that, that, that's believable. Oh. Oh, boy. Discord is the spirit of chaos. It would make sense that he needs there to be chaos to survive. Um, so the fact that obviously he causes a majority of the chaos. Being, of course, the spirit. So I'm. I'm uh I'm going to assume it was. It's mostly if he stops being chaotic, he'll just appear. He'll cease to exist because I can't imagine. I know this is the world of Equestria where everyone is all sweet and happy and kind and whatever. Or, most of the time, um, in the world of Questra, and then there's. You joking? The Arkham Knight would put a bullet in the back before he got anywhere near. There's um, and there's this one spirit of chaos, who is causing all the chaos. There, there has to be. He, a things where, her people aren't. And so friendly. I mean, like, look at Starlight's village before the main six got there. There was. It was, uh. They were all enslaved. 
I don't think that was fully harming me as uh, they it would have liked us to believe it was. In any event, um. This episode, when it comes down to it, it was a very good episode for what it wanted to accomplish. It wanted to show us, you know, Where's this explains why Discord shut down. is still allowed to be a little chaotic. Obviously, we know Fluttershy did say she would never use her element against him, even with that, the elements are are gone and because they went into Tree and Harmony and they gave Twilight a new house boost when hers her old one was destroyed. Um but he's still I mean he's obviously allowed to get away with some bit of chaos as long as I can get a guess like as long as he's not harming anyone or, you know, getting out of control. Well, looks to the point where someone would have to step in. Hmm. Hmm. Which would obviously be the main six. So. Obviously, and this episode showed what would happen if he didn't do any of that. He would actually cease to exist. So. It was very well done. Um, I can't really fault anything in this episode. Like John Lancey, once again, one of the best voices on the show, and that's not taking anything away from uh, the other great actresses, which are, is where he's like one of the only male cast members. You know, he, he's always a breath of fresh air, you know, because he always brings something a little bit different. Like, the only character who can, like, match his entertaining stature is probably Pinkie Pie. Hmm? Like, because all the others, you know, they can, they can have their moments where they're, uh, I don't know about you, Bruce, but I could yeah. sure go for some killing people right Whatever. now. Whatever. What? Uh, not in the mood? Well, eh, maybe later then. For this episode, I am gonna... I, I can't really give it a bad rating, so... For tonight. A plan? <laughs> How quaint! To a I don't really want to give it a better rating than the next episode. Fun stuff. So I'm gonna give this a a nine. I'll give it a nine. Didn't really do anything wrong. Um but yeah. I think it's a very solid episode. And I'm gripping tighter It gives people who, who like this gore hurt and flourish I together, even if you're just a Discord fan. This gives you a lot to work with if you're a fanfic writer. More power to, yeah, it gives you Ill. It's, I could see this giving lots of people ideas to um, to compel and project onto their writing software and then send it to the world via fanfic. And speaking of episodes that will, will inspire a lot of fix, we come to episode 13, The Perfect Pair. Arkham Knight. Yeah, that's just what Gotham needs. Another guy in a mask. Ooh, this episode. Um... This episode, straight off, I'm going to say it gets a 9.5 out of 10. Now, 
I'm sure a lot of you will say, no, give it a 10, give it a 10. I'll explain why I'm not giving it. You know what? Nine and three quarters out of ten. <laughs> That's the best I can do because there are some there's tiny little things. Now, obviously, in a kids show, they can't mention what actually happened to the parents. So yeah, they can't mention. Oh, they're dead. I know you can't, they can't mention that the parents were dead. Say... Arkham Knight? Huh. Something like... Was in Arkham City and I never heard of him. There was an accident or... Yeah, and, uh, there was an accident or... Since the accident... Like, you say there was an accident. You don't have to say outright that they're dead. Or gone. Um... You've all but confirmed it. Yeah, that's just what they have confirmed it. Another guy in a mask. Don't tell the kids. But um, obviously you can't have the characters outright come out and say, "Oh, they're dead." You can't have Apple Jack tell Apple, Boom, "Uh, we don't." Or uh, Granny Smith tell Apple, Boom, "Uh, we didn't, we didn't, we, I didn't talk about them because oh, they're dead. Fuck them. Fuck them. They're dead." Well, what do you care about two points? We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> but if if they just said like it was heavily implied that this is was the first time that the grandparent get, character had been in Ponyville since he originally left. So he like I don't I don't think he came. There's not. Like, there was, like, no mention that he... That would imply that he didn't even come when the accident happened, or whatever happened to him happened. Like... Arkham Knight? Huh. I was in Arkham City, and I never... Now... I say there was an accident because I, I, I we we don't know we don't know what happened, but someone said to me he that they and and they, this is what they think they said to me I thought Arkham City was that they think this, this is another the mother hair jam or wherever and. Hair butter or whatever her name was. I'm already after fucking forgetting it. It pear butter, sorry, pear butter. It was a no. Her thing was a jam jar. Was it pear jam? No, pear jam was the Look, thing that the pear guy gave Apple to him at the And by the way, the facial expressions during this episode look from the Apple siblings. <laughs> if we're going to get some use out of that. Um, but yeah. My, the uh, person I was talking to says, they believe, no, this is not, I'm, I can't confirm this to be true. Then again, I can't confirm it not to be true. And think about it, it does make some bit of sense that the the mother died while she was giving birth to Apple Bloom. Now this is perfectly illogical. You can say, okay, that, that, that makes sense. It's, it's happened before. In the real world, people like you know, you sometimes hear mothers dying in childbirth, like, um, Game of Thrones is actually a good, good, uh, good go-to for this, because 
the three like main characters, John, Daenerys, and Tyrion, their mothers all die out while birthing them. So, you know, that that would be a good indication of that. And also, Danny's brother, who is John's father, if you know your Game of Thrones. If you don't, whatever. If, if you haven't watched it by now or have read the books, you're not gonna. So, if you say, oh, that's a spoiler, I don't give a shit. That you've clearly no interest in the show, or, or you just are a complete idiot. Regardless. He, his original wife, had already had two children, and from what I can gather, they were all, there's like, it was believed that if she tried to have another, she would have died as well, so. It's, it's, it's not like it's not happened before. Both in reality and in fiction. So, you know, if you think about it, Big Mac, gosh, he must have been named that for a reason. So, I'm going to, obviously, his father was also called something Mac. Also, the uh, colors, the, the colors were okay. Apple Bloom is the same colors as her father. Her uh, yellow coat and the uh, red mane. And then tail. And Applejack got her, her maining coat color from God knows where. Bing Mac. Got his coat color from, again, God knows where. And, of course, he got his, uh, his mane and tail color from their mother. He must have been named Big Mac for a reason. And I'm going to hazard a guess that he was a big baby. And uh, he took a toll on the, the mother. So, you know, if you... If, Thinking about it, it, it would seem possible. Now, this is where we go off into what if territory and you know, complete crazy fan fiction inducing third territory that like the mother died after giving birth to Apple Bloom, and the father then he just. He just stopped caring about life because he just he he like died in grief. That might be dark, but thinking about it, it does. You know, we don't know what happened, so like that could be true. That could be possible. Like if the show words ever come out and. Like, they don't have to say it on the show. They can, like, release a statement saying, here's what actually happens to the Apple family. I mean, they could, you know, one of the writers could release that on Twitter or something. Because, like, I think it was Amy Keen Rogers who tweeted that, yeah, the Apple parents were, that she's the one who, one of them, anyway, uh, originally tweeted that they are dead in the uh, two stars in um I think it's it was the I can't remember what episode it was but obviously uh it I got a score to settle with that punk I'm gonna send him back to Bloodhaven in a body bag There was like two shooting stars, and they were meant to represent that the parents were no longer there. Um. Yeah. I mean, if anyone else has any ideas or uh, any theories or any thoughts about this, let me know. But you know, if you think about it, you know. 
There's no... There's nothing that says, oh, they have to have died in some horrific way. You can just... So that stag guy didn't leave. And died in a... Unlucky way. Well, most deaths would be considered unlucky. Depending on the situation. But, you know, if... If it was revealed that Apple Jackson would it be like to have you stuck in my head, Brucey? Suicidally bored. Karen these were dead from that particular from those particular set of circumstances, the mother died first after giving birth to Apple Boo. And then the father just stopped caring about life and he, he, he just stopped caring eventually giving up his uh his, eventually his life also ended. Um the only thing that could like punch a hole in that being a possibility is None of the family are angry at Apple Bloom. Somebody Again, I, uh... You're crazy, you know that? No one's out there to save you. Everyone's gone. Gotham's deserved. Refer to uh, Game of Thrones as a... Screw you. As a... Hey, we got a tough guy. You're a bunch of cowards. It takes all you to be a good family man. all hate Believe me, him. If there was more well, of you to go around, we'd be Cersei and, uh... Um, but for now... I would hate him because the scraps. he killed like an the mother and childbirth. I just can't. That'd be the only. The only thing is, I, do, I can't see the apple be be like that. Back. I didn't really have to understand it wasn't apple. His intention to be He killed the mother. If that is what happened. Watch out. So, um, obviously we don't know anything for sure, but, uh, this episode was very good. Like I said, nine and three quarters out of ten. Went a bit off topic there. We're sorry about that. Um, but yeah, like I said, this episode did have some slight flaws. Nothing that would make me say, oh, this is a terrible episode. Well, this episode, which should never be viewed again. I will definitely watch this episode plenty of times. Um, the slight problems that the episode has are when they are going around to talk to people about their parents, they're always told, oh, uh, you know, I know this much, but uh, hey, uh, you can go to this person and get more of the story. Like, Mrs. Cake, I'm sorry, but fuck her, okay? Fuck her. I never knew when it was the right time to bring it up. I know that's not her voice. I don't know why I did like a snooty British accent. But, you know what? Fuck. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck her. Absolutely fuck her. You never, never, it never occurred to you to say, hey, uh, I actually knew your mother. And Applejack and Big Mac. Come on. How old was Applejack when? She's a few years older than Applebloom. You can't tell me that her and Big Mac never had a conversation with her mother and father. Ever? At all? Just, oh, no, we never talk. Just, go, like, they'd say, I'll go, you do your chores. Like, do they only ever talk to Granny? 
Is, is that it? Wait, if that's the case, then it's, it's not even an issue that they're dead. It, it, you didn't even seem to care. Or that they were your parents because you never fucking talked to them. You know, small things like that. Small things like that. It absolutely. Benignly stupid. Brain dead stupid. Like, it makes absolutely zero sense that they know absolutely nothing about their parents. Nothing. the case, I guess. Because, you know, why would you know anything about your parents? At all. Fuck that. You know? It's overrated. You know, it's understandable for Apple Bloom because it's, even if it's not the case that the mother the I didn't childbirth. If, if that's not what happened. Even if there was an accident She would have been very, very young when they did it die. So she she gets off. She gets off. But the other two, Apple, Bulljack, and Big Mac, you have no excuse. You have no excuse. You should know something about your parents. I pray for the. And apparently there was a pear tree mixed with a fucking apple tree. It would be you. On the orchard the whole time. Have much time. And they knew about this tree, and they never said, you know what, that's weird. Why do we have a pear tree here? Never crossed their minds to say, let's take that down. We don't, we don't grow pears. What's that doing here? Firefly, that's what we're tracking. Did the Grindsman say, oh, no, 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 your, your mother planted that. Don't take it down. I tell you, someone needs to reopen the asylum. He's back. Don't because apparently so not, because they didn't, never fucking mention them, ever. Like, Ranks Men's like, oh shit, you, you learned about your parents? These small little things, they're just blatantly. You're like, what? That makes no sense. This is why it's not getting a 10. I heard Batman ain't been the same since Joker checked out. Because of these stupid little details. Like, you can. Like, me. Obviously, the episode would have been a lot shorter if Apple Blue, whom, whom had just asked Big Mac and Apple Jack and she had gotten the answer from them. So, my character that would be, okay, have them know some mm, mm, parts, but maybe they don't know oh, that their mother was a or that's what sends them. They. Them on their journey. So what, we gotta listen to Scarecrow lecture us all? But in this episode, it they went around like they knew nothing about their parents, even their father. They didn't know anything about him. Him apparently. They had to get a, a wood chopping and, and selling pony to tell him. Goldie Delicious may return, because why the hell not? And the... He... Bitch, that is Mrs. Cake, and then the mayor. Really? And don't tell me that they needed the mayor to tell them about all the rest of the story. Because Mrs. Cake was at the wedding. She was, I guess, the best mayor 
or the me the the bride's mare? I, I I don't I don't know how equestrian marriages work. And this is you know I said earlier in the episode and we've seen two of them. There were bridesmaids at Cain's wedding, but there was no indication that she had a, a maid of honor. Or which would be the female equivalent of the best man, the female. Like the, the number one bridesmaid. I guess she would have to call it. Uh, obviously, in the question, the, the tiles, they are a little different because obviously he, he, in, a, in, in our world, the, the groom's number one guy is called the best man, obviously. Shining apparently has no friends at this point, at, at the point of his wedding, you know, he does later. I, I get that she's your sister, but come on. Surely Twilight would be... And cons... You know what, I'm not, I know I'm going to go into the, that, to that bullshit. I'll just say that. Maid of Honor, or the Mayor of Honor, or if that's what the equestrian equivalent is called, that would have been Twilight, in logical terms, because Keynes knew her as well, even if it was a fake Keynes. Sure. Riddler built a robot army. Hmm. Oh, Logic would dictate hate. That she would be on the other side and like, cause I already don't want to talk too much about that because this is about something completely different. I'm going off on it. Um, so yeah, little problems, but this episode overall was very good. And, uh, yeah, that was episode twelve. And 13. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Oh. Oh. I need to hear the feedback from this episode. So, so yes, the comments will be turned on for this episode. I'm thinking of turning them on for the, uh, for the reviews. Because I do want to hear you guys. Anyway. I'll let you guys know. When... It, it, when I decide why I'm gonna do it. So, the comments will be enabled for this episode so I can get your her feedback. I can hear what you think of the possibility of what you think of my proposed fact story of what happened to the Apple family parents because that's that's the best thing we can do that's the only thing we have for what happened to them is our own theories now I'm probably not the first person to suggest that that she died in childbirth so uh, if you uh, if if you have heard that before, or I apologize, and if you can link me the person's uh, YouTube or whatever in the comments, I'll uh, I'll give the originator their due credit because I'll say I'm not saying that this is an original idea. I don't know that for sure. I can't say that for sure. All I no, is this is the idea that a 
friend of mine said to me that could be the possibility. And like I said, if when you think about it, you're like, you know, that that, that doesn't sound like it. You know, doesn't really sound far fetched or uh, completely out of the realm of possibility. It could be possible. Anyway. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the episodes and what you think of my thought-provoking idea towards the lore of the show. Thanks for watching. I'm um, enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.